Wayne again with Bells of Steel. One of the biggest benefits to our Hydra line is the amount of customizations you can do. In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble a collegiate rack. On our Hydra rack uprights, you can select three heights, 72, 84, and 90 inches. And with our cross members, you can select four depths, 17, 24, 30, and 43 inches. Each can be purchased individually, so you can create the perfect rack for your space and your needs. Now, I'm gonna pass this over to Brandon, who's gonna go over the assembly process. Hey, this is Brandon with Bells of Steel, and today I'm gonna be assembling our new collegiate half rack, which is one of our um, squat racks that's pre-assembled in our hydro line. And I'm gonna start by taking the two back uprights, laying them out with our back cross beam. And I'm, kinda, I'm gonna try to build the whole rack kinda from the back to the front. Okay, now we have our main back frame here. We're gonna start adding on our cross beams and then building the front of the rack. And so with the bolts on these racks, you can face them whatever way you want. It's not gonna impact safety, but I always put them in kind of always facing the inside of the rack just for aesthetics. And right now we're just hand tightening. At the end, once the rack's fully assembled, we'll bolt everything together nice and tight. All right, so next we're gonna add our second set of uprights for the front of the rack. And I'm gonna start just by bolting on the, the top of these uprights, not the bottom. So next we're gonna bolt on the feet that are gonna stick out of the front of our rack here. And the bolts for these feet are gonna be a bit longer, so there should be four of them. And they'll have kind of this like flat part on the end, so it'll be very easy to tell which ones are which. And so these things should balance okay on here. Again, we recommend doing this with two people. Alrighty, so we repeat the same thing on this side with the second foot here. Um, they can be kind of tricky to line up because you've got to line it through both um, the upright and the bottom part as well, but you just got to play around with it for a couple minutes. That one was easy. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to add on our pull-up bar. That's going to go at the very top of the rack over here. So I'll go one bolt through on this side, I'll put one bolt through on this side here, and then because the rack's not fully bolted together yet, it's a little bit loose, so I can kind of just put it in on one side, then I can just bend the rack a bit, and then put it on this side as well. Okay, so now we have the rack fully assembled here. All the bolts are still loose, so we'll tip the rack upright before we get everything tightened. And again, we recommend having two people to do this, but I'm gonna do it by myself.
Alrighty. So the Hydrac does come with a pair of these small wrenches here. You can use to tighten all the bolts. But for time's sake today, we're gonna use a wrench and then an impact wrench to get things done a lot faster. So next we're gonna add on our J-hooks. And our spotter arms, which we recommend just for safety if you're squatting on the outside of the rack. So something very common with this style of rack is to add on uh, plate pegs for the back uprights here. I'm not gonna add one today, but they can just easily be bolted onto the side here. And a few of the big benefits of this rack or this style of rack is you can squat outside of the rack and have a lot more freedom here, which I prefer. I, I'd rather squat in a squat stance on rack than being inside of a cage. You can still have your pull-up bar and everything like that. And it's gonna be a lot more stable than a squat stand or a half rack would be because of this back up right here. So it's kind of the best bang for your buck as far as saving space, also having storage and stability. And this rack can be bolted down, although you don't need to. It's pretty heavy as you can see, but if it wasn't a gym where you wanna have it more permanent or more stable, I'd recommend bolting it to the ground. As mentioned before, this is one of the kind of preset racks on our website you can get, but all the parts for our hydro racks can be purchased separately. You can customize whatever kind of rack you want. If you wanna do that, please reach out to our customer service and thanks for watching.